This is Marcus Corval with MMA Nuts, and we're here in Los Angeles at RFA where we saw some great fights tonight. We're here with one of the legends in the sport, Renato Laranja. To the band? I'm feeling uh, very good, my brother, who, who's making some noise over there. It might be Kevin Casey who just fought in the main event, won a title. Black belt under Hicks and Gracie. What do you think about that? I think that's good. He's very athletic. He's black. He have uh, a lot of muscle on there. He was strong. He's a good guy. A guy like that, you know, you've challenged a lot of people. How would you do against someone like Kevin Casey? I'm not gonna, uh, that, you know, I'm gonna let that guys, that young guys like that, to to enjoy themselves. They don't wanna be against somebody like me. I'm I'm uh, I'm like a I'm a heel bad guy. They don't wanna see something like that. I let them to play and do some stars, have a good time. Because why I'm gonna ruin the the party? You know, that's true. That's true. We have a, a man in his corner. He wasn't in the corner, but he was here tonight in his honor. His his master Hicks and Gracie, someone like you exactly. Someone like you. Who do you look up to? Uh, first, I look up to my God. Uh, who is your God? Uh, the one, the one is called the one God. The one, the one. Okay. The one is called God. Uh. And then I go to Bustamante, and then you have these guys. Just come here. They did a good job. Great fight tonight. Great fight, my brothers. And all that guys, and even the black guy that was there. So, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry I lose my voice because I was cheer for my guy, Alan Joban, because I was trained that guy for a long time. I could tell you've done a great job with him there, you know. He, he did, uh, did job. Job. He didn't want to choke, he wanted to tap from that guy, okay? It was a very close, it was a very close to a rear naked choke there. It Do you feel like... like mm, he, he was, he was, uh, knew what I was told him to get out of that one so he can implement his uh, full contact capoeira. Capoeira? Poha carayo. A lot of people don't realize that, that you do, uh, do, do capoeira, I think. I did capoeira, I did gojo karach. That's why I was here talking to my, my old friend, uh, Lioto Machida. Yes. And all that stuff's there. Lioto's brother fought tonight, Shinsuma, uh, Shinsuma Machida fought Dima Garozuma from, from Systems Training Center. Did you watch that fight? I watched that one. I, I was very impressed to, to his brother. And I wanted him to finish that guy, but he didn't finish him. But he was, I liked the way he was performing on that one. A lot of people in your circles are fighting lately. We saw Matt Morris, uh, Eddie Bravo that you know as well. I don't know about that guy. What yeah. about that? He beat the Gracie. Yeah, that's the past. But it's not that long ago. I know that, but uh, you know, why am I gonna dwell on something like that? Mm. Yeah, he didn't beat nobody because it was uh, a draw. It was a draw? Yeah, you, you know that. It, there was no points, yes. It matter like that because if it was Valet Trudeau, uh, Hoyle was gonna punch that guy when he uh, was holding to his leg like a little kid uh, or a koala bear on there. What do you think of, of 10th Planet? I don't, I don't even know what that means. True tenth planet. What is that? It's, it's a tenth planet. That was already discovered that one. <laughs> so you would say if anything it would be the eleventh planet? The way that one. Why well, I'm gonna worry about our eleventh planet. Now, you know, there's a lot of people coming into the UFC and we have, you know, the tenth planet style, the original Grace of Jiu Jitsu. What do you think is the best style for mixed martial arts? Uh Laranja systems, uh, uh fighting systems. I've heard of it. Where can people find out more about it? You can find through, through uh, Twitter, Renato un underscore Laranja. But you have a show. People starting to realize about your system. That's true. But my show is more so you can relax, can have, uh, can understand what's going through inside my head. You know, and a lot of women want to know what's also not the head, but they want to also to know the base and also some of the veins. The, the, and, and let me tell you something. I know that you was broadcast that one in Sweden. Yes. And I know that uh, that's one of my key demographic. I like some of that one's uh, skull. Uh, I like oh. to. I like to some of that uh, white women's the blonde hair, and they have uh, that booty is one color. That 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 butthole is one color, and the vaginas look like uh, bubble gums. So I like that one. Wow. There's been some rumors about you and Ronda Rousey. There's a lot of humor about that one, but you know I'm gonna leave that to the I'm gonna leave that uh, to the to the TMZ and other people like that because we are here at HFA to celebrate HFA. We, we, sorry, where? We celebrating HFA. 
Where where's HF? Is that the after party? It's, no, no, no. That's the that's the the the, the event, the promotion. Ed Suarez was created HFA. The promotion. Oh, RFA. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The promotion. We, oh, we yeah, yeah, RFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And it's it's been a great night of night of fight. Are you surprised to see this level of mixed martial arts locally in Los Angeles? I like to see that one. I think when I was uh, he located you here, yeah. I was uh, encourage a lot of people to to be here and to 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 wanna to he invigorate people like that. Even this light skinned black guy here who was look like he's looking for some something. The whole time. Is, is the trouble? Is the beef? No, no, yeah, he's he's okay. It's okay. Last time talking about beef. Last time I was in this arena, there was another show here, and we had Vinny Magalhaes here. You guys almost got in a fight. Who? Vinny Magalhaes. Who? Vinny. Very good UFC fighter. Beat Fabrice Verdum in the ADCC. Uh, the only Vinny Magalhaes I know is a light-skinned Dominican guy who is fat, out of shape, who was kicked out the, from the UFC, who was beat up by uh, a 43-year-old a, a uh, Australian-New Zealand guy. And he was also beat by the Phil Javis, who looked like a combination from uh, Wesley Snipe and Gregory Hines. So fuck that guy. He's not on my radar. I, I, it's my world. He's a squirrel who's trying to live on my nuts. That night, it looked like, I, I presume from what you're saying, that you guys are still not cool. Let me tell you something. When you presume, you make to you and um, then to be an asshole. That makes sense. Um, we, I want to thank you, Hanad, for taking the time. I know you have a business schedule. Oh, you're welcome, thank you. my brother. Well, you're welcome, my brother. Okay.